Hello, Joss Tufnell here, and today I'm going to shoot you a very quick video in under five minutes about foraging a spring green salad. So I've been for a little bit of a walk today and um, just gathered some few of our abundant greens this time of year. Here in North Devon on the coast in the UK. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite a technique mixing the plants which are more pungent tasting and then the more milder tasting ones to get a nice balance. Um, it's the season of growth when we've got that green bitterness that's associated with, with spring in Chinese medicine and Qigong. Um, and so we need to kind of mix the flavours a bit to, to mix, mix the different things in to get it good. Um, also associated with the liver, so a lot of this this stuff really is really good for your liver. It's so connected with nature, so um, just one way we can really feel that. Um, so I'm going to look at some of the pungent herbs that I've got here, like dandelion. Don the lion, lion's teeth, teeth of the lion, so called, sort of that jaggedy kind of tooth on the leaf there. Um, garlic mustard, um, sorrel, it's got that arrow shape, really good one, very common, very good for you. Got wild garlic. Some of these are getting a bit wilted because it's been an hour since I've, or two since I've come back from my walk. Um, and actually, with the garlic, um, wild garlic, I'm making a salad dressing uh, just with a bit of lemon juice and olive oil. Um, <clears throat> I've also got plantain in there. Very common everywhere in your garden. Very good for you. Really good for you. Um, so I've got bittercress, wintercress, cleavers, you know, the sticky weed. I don't put too much of that in, but this time of year it's still uh, quite good just to get the end of the shoots before they get the seeds forming on them. Um, and then I've got some more mild. Herb, tasting herbs in there. I've uh, got chickweed, wilting a bit. Um, yeah, not a very good example. Um, chickweed's great, high in uh, vitamin C, also vitamins A and B, fatty acids and minerals. Um, got ground elder. It's very common in people's flower beds. Everyone always wants me to pull them out. You could just treat it like spinach. It's really good. Um, I've got, did I say pennywort? Um, I've got hawthorn leaves and flowers. Uh, quite a nice nutty flavour. I've got stort and fat hen, lamb's lettuce, some, some leaves uh, from Alexander's. And that's probably about what I've got in, in the mild kind of herbs. And then I've got a few sort of decoration ones like primrose flowers. line flower that's edible as well it's filling up a bit now violets a little bit of speedwell this is a nice kind of one that's ivy leaf toad flax in the walls has kind of got a slightly sort of lemon type flavour uh, purple robert it's another really good one high in antioxidants Oh, I've got 
wood sorrel in there as well. And ah, oh, gorse flower. Yeah. And on a different note, I've also got oh, that's a bit mashed as well now. Got a little bit of um, milk thistle or sour thistle. Um, the leaves are quite good in salads, but you can make a tea that's really, really good for the liver with this as well. I'll get a leaf or two and put it in hot water and leave it to to uh, seep for a few minutes. So cool because of its when you break it, you kind of get that milky. Maybe that's not not so fresh anymore, but normally you get the white coming out of it quite easily. You can see where it has been. Yeah, so that's really good for the liver. And uh, really healthy. I mean, you cannot get a saddle like that in the shops, can you? Organic, local food, everything you need in nature right from your doorstep. And... Um, it's it's quite tasty. It might get a bit of take a bit of balancing the ingredients to see what you like and what you don't like, and you can always mix it with um, things like tomatoes and cucumber or even apple, you know, or nuts. You can just use your imagination. Carrots, um, depending on what you've got in there and what you feel goes well. So it's a great thing to do. Create a spring salad and um, so many of these things. Like, you know, even dandelion. That's a complete superfood. It's uh, you can't really buy something as good as that in the shops, and it's all in your garden for free. So uh, yeah, um, that's all I'm going to say for today, and see you next time.